This is video two of three showing you how to record in 3D with your GoPro Hero 3s. I have two black edition cameras. It'll work the same with any edition camera you have. With the 3D current system that GoPro puts out, it only works with the Hero 2 and Hero 1. The way you record in 3D is you have two cameras side by side that record the exact same footage. For the Hero 2, it came with a sync cable, and that sync cable made sure that both cameras started at the exact same time. For the GoPro Hero 3, the sync cable does not work, and so the way you ensure that both cameras are recording the exact same thing at the exact same time is through the Wi-Fi remote. So, I will show you how to pair with the remote, and then how to record in 3D. So to begin pairing, you power on your camera, and then to enable Wi-Fi, you push the button on the side. Now that's going to go to your default setting, whether you want it to pair with your app or pair with the remote, you have to select it. So we'll set up a new remote, so you push the button here on the side again, and it brings up the Wi-Fi menu. We're going to go through and we're going to select, we want to do the Wi-Fi remote control, and we're going to select new. And then it's going to start doing, it's going to show you that it's trying to pair. Now that it's trying to pair, you can see on the back of your remote, in order to pair, you push the red button and the power button. So you hold this down, and you push that button, and it's going to come up, and it's going to show you that it's trying to pair. It'll take a few seconds. On the GoPro, it shows that it's ready. And with this, on the screen itself, it's going to show you that it's paired with one remote. Now to pair it with the second GoPro, you go through the exact same process, and then right there on the screen, it's going to show two numbers so to show that you're with two cameras. So you can go ahead and do that. Once you're done pairing, you're going to press the red button. Once you're paired to the Wi-Fi remote, the Wi-Fi remote screen sees everything that your GoPro screen sees. You can cycle through the modes and you can see there's very little delay and you can control everything from the Wi-Fi remote. Another neat feature is you can even power down your GoPro from the remote. You just hold down the mode button as though you're turning off your GoPro on the camera itself. You can see as you sit here the blue light here on the GoPro still flashes. It still is using battery to emit the Wi-Fi signal, it just doesn't use as much. Then when you're ready to turn it back on, you just turn back on the remote. There is a slight delay. So there's about a 15 to 20 second delay there, but it did power right back on. I now have both cameras paired to the same remote. It's going to show on the remote that I have two cams and that's all it's going to be able to show me because it can't show me both settings on both cameras. So if you're going to shoot in 3D, you're going to want to make sure that both cameras have the exact same recording settings. For me, I'm doing 720p, 60 frames a second, wide angle. It's very important that one of the orientation is up and one of them is down. So on this one, this will be the one that my orientation is down. And they're going to sit in the housings like that. That way they both record right side up. I am now in the 3D apparatus that I made. My previous video showed how to make this. I built this whole setup for less than $30. So, I can't stress how important it is that the lenses line up perfectly. If they are the slightest bit off, your 3D is not going to work and it's just going to be very distorted and you're not going to have any usable footage. The nice thing about recording in 3D is you clearly have two cameras with two SD cards. So you're recording both in 2D if you just take the, take the footage from one camera, or 3D if you take the footage from both cameras. So they're pretty easily lined up, and now we are ready to begin shooting. I'm going to put it on a tripod, and we'll get some footage. All right, both cameras are set up and ready to get going. You can see I have it on my tripod there, and all I have to do is I, I get on the remote, I click record, 
both cameras start going at the exact same time. I have found it's best if the camera lenses are the closest together possible, like they are, and if you stay at least three feet away from the cameras for the 3D. That way you get the best video quality. Now that I'm done recording in 3D, it's important to remember which one acted as, as the left eye and which camera acted as the right eye. So the one that was upside down for me, even though it's on my right, it acted as the left eye. And when you go into the software and set it up, you have to make sure you get both of them right. For me, I put some tape on the back of this, and that way I always remember this is the left eye camera. And whenever I shoot, this is always the left eye camera. It just makes it easy so I don't ever mix them up. You can write an R or an L or however it works for you. Just make sure that you get both of them correct. My next video will show you how to take the both left eye and right eye and put them together in the GoPro software.